Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe where today we're going to be taking a look at one of the brand new weapons in the Beast of Sanctuary update and that is the rather epic looking new battle rifle, the Velt. Now the Velt caused a lot of confusion when it was announced because nobody knew quite what it was. Couldn't work out whether it was a weapon like the Latron or another assault rifle or just, an, uh, well basically a sniper rifle. However, now it's out we know exactly what it is and that is it's a new weapon similar to the Latron series. You can find the blueprint for it in the Tano Lab in the dojo, it doesn't require anything too nasty in the research, although we don't know what the crafting requirements are just yet, um, so we're not sure whether it needs any other weapons in the crafting of it. But once you do have it crafted, you get a rather amazing looking semi-automatic rifle sporting a huge 90 damage a shot. Most of that damage comes as slash, which is really nice. The remaining damage is split equally between impact and puncture. From there, it's fairly clear what direction you're going to end up taking with the modding. The crit chance of 22% is more than enough to make a crit build work on here, especially with that 2.2 times crit damage multiplier as well. This thing is going to hit like a truck when it does crit. It doesn't hit the 100% crit mark, which is a shame, but it's a lot more reliable than other weapons in its class, namely like the Latron Prime and the Wraith. Its status chance also of 22% means that a status build can work really nicely on here as well, either to proc corrosive reliably if you combine it with some dual stats, or by combining hunting munitions on here with viral for pretty reliable procs to go along with the bleed damage. Now it only really has one particularly notable downside uh, and that is the rather atrocious fire rate of just 3.67 rounds a second which absolutely needs to be modded for if you're going to stop the velt from feeling super sluggish. Other than that it is super accurate, the magazine size of 16 isn't the largest but with a reload speed of just 1.8 seconds, it doesn't feel bad at all. Um, even if you reload pretty often, like I have a tendency of doing, all around it is a very solid rifle. The only thing is that's holding it back is that fire rate, and that is fixable with just a little bit of modding. It does have a special feature as well, which, I mean, it doesn't really affect the actual performance of the weapon that much at all. Um, but it is that if you use a secondary fire button, that's a default middle mouse on the, uh, um, on the PC, you get a toggleable zoom level, and that allows you to zoom in a bit more and hit those targets a bit further away. And it allows you to land those shots at range that little bit easier. It's nice to use, and I've actually found myself using this more than a lot of like alt fire toggleable things. I use this more than changing the fire mode on the Tiburon, for example. So while stat wise it doesn't do anything at all, I actually like it quite a bit. In terms of the build, I eventually went with pretty much a standard crit build. Uh, I've got five former on here, all of which are these. Uh, I've got serration and split chamber on there for damage and multi-shot. Prime shred, not just for the punch through, but the additional fire rate as well. That makes it feel so much more usable. Um, then we have the user crit mods. We've got point strike, vital sense for the crit chance, crit damage. Uh, two dual stat elementals. I've got corrosive damage on here with malignant force and high voltage. And then I've got vigilante armaments. Because of the high status chance, I decided to go with the corrosive on here to strip armor effectively, especially when combined with the additional multi-shot that Vigilante Armaments brings, which when I tested seemed to work better than Viral and Hunter Munitions. Vigilante Armaments also has the chance of taking those uh, yellow crits and making them orange crits as well, which really, really can help boost the damage output of the weapon. However, if you don't want to push the status that much, you could always add additional former, put on primed cryo rounds, malignant force for viral damage, and um, that gives a decent chance to proc. And then if you switch vigilante armaments out for hunting munitions, that is a very viable build as well. Obviously, you could also use mods such as bladed rounds for extra crit damage on a kill. Uh, Argon scope is actually a really decent um, uh, option here, and that will take the crit chance over 100%. So there's a few things on here you could do just to tailor the uh, tailor the build to your own play style and make the weapon feel good for you. So what do I actually think of the weapon? Is it any good? You know what? It kind of sneaked up on this one, but yeah, it is really damn good. When I was using it and leveling it, it kind of started off with not really impressing me that much. It felt kind of underwhelming. It didn't really shout at me and show me what it could do. However, once I had it finally fully built, this thing is absolutely amazing, it feels great, the fire rate isn't too much of a problem once you have it modded, and if you like your semi-auto weapons, you are going to love this. 
You can see it in the footage in the background, dealing with high level enemies really easily. No problems whatsoever. Obviously, it's not designed to be a quick and efficient killer. It's not going to be able to slaughter enemies, uh, for example, to keep your efficiency up in Sanctuary, um, the Sanctuary Onslaught game mode. You're not going to kill weapons, uh, kill enemies quick enough for that. But you can still see it killing these guys really easily and really quickly. So you can be sure that if you take this into your sortie, it's going to be able to deal with whatever you're realistically going to come up against. The weapon looks amazing, sounds interesting, it feels really good to use. There's not that much to talk about it to be honest though. It's good, performs well and it's good all around. I think that if you like the single shot rifles like the Latrons or the single fire mode on the Argonac, you're going to like the belt a lot. So I hope you enjoyed my short look at the Velt semi-auto rifle. I'll have videos on the other weapons coming soon. But for now, many thanks for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.